Hello there and thanks so much for joining me on today's video. My name is Anna, Anna Lindberg, and I'm a success coach and business strategist. I help people to build businesses and create lifestyles that will give them more freedom, more flexibility and ultimately more fulfillment. And now I talk a lot about taking one step, one step outside your comfort zone, one step forwards, one step into your growth zone and so on. And today I actually want to talk to you about why you might not be taking that step. So when I've been asking you to take that one step, let me ask you this, have you been taking the step? Or have you perhaps taken that one step and then not taken any other steps after that? If so, then I'm talking to you in this video. And this is not to police you, although a bit of accountability, of course, can be useful. It's more to explore why that might be and to help you to ultimately be able to take that step, or rather to take the right step. So there are a number of different reasons why you might not be taking your step. And you know, you may come across things like fear of failure, and um, you know, we don't want to look stupid, we don't want to make mistakes, we don't want to take too many risks. And um, fear of success, ironically, is another one as well. And I'm gonna be doing some other videos on those different blocks and concerns. But today I want to talk about the biggest one that I see being a block to you taking those actions, and that is the goal itself. So let me ask you, how clear are you on what your goal is? And most importantly, how clear are you as to why that goal is so significant and meaningful to you? Are you 100% certain that this is the goal that you want to be going after right now? Because when it comes to certainly setting up a business or any kind of big lifestyle change, you are going to be working hard. You're going to be spending a lot of time doing this through the transition. But of course, ultimately, you're going to be spending the rest of your life or at least a good chunk of your life doing whatever it is you're working towards. So it's so incredibly important to make sure that the thing that we're working towards is the right thing. So as an example, I've been meaning to write another book for a long time. So I co-authored a book uh, with a colleague a couple of years ago and it was amazing. I've always wanted to be a writer and, and it was such a fantastic thing to do with her. Um, but I've been meaning to write my own book and it just hasn't really happened. And you know, I've been sort of drafting and redrafting titles and outlines and so on and it just hasn't happened. And so I had to take a break, <laughs> take a step back and look at what I was trying to achieve. And I started with why is this book even important to me? And as I said, one of the reasons was that I've always wanted to be a writer and it's not about becoming the next JK Rowling, it's just getting a book out there and having you know, a number of books to my name. I enjoy the process um, and I just like the idea of having those books in my hand. It's an amazing feeling and that was one big driver for me. Another one, as I said, was that I'd co-authored that book before and now I was really keen to be the solo author on a book and also to um, be writing on a topic that was more closely related to the work that I'm doing now. So the other one was a bit more sort of in my old life and this was going to be more symbolic and representative of what I'm doing now. Um, and then thirdly, I think I really have an important message that I want to share with the world. So those are my three reasons why writing a book is so important. And with those motivating factors in mind, I sat down and I sort of bashed out a few different topics that I'd like to write books on. And I took away that perfectionist um, goal of writing a best-selling book from day one. And I thought, okay, I'll just get something out there. And I'm happy to report that thanks to this, I decided on kind of a low-hanging fruit topic, a collection of stories um, that I've pulled together. And I'm going to be publishing that very soon. And then I'll be working on my other books um, in the coming months. But that helped me. So I got really clear on what the goal was. It's not to become the next JK Rowling, but rather to get one other book out there into the world as soon as possible, essentially ideally by Christmas was my target, and secondly to understand why that was important to me. So for you, your one step today is not to take a step, it's not to take any action at all, but rather to go back to the drawing board and ask yourself, how clear are you on your goals? So what exactly is it that you're trying to achieve? With whom, how, when, and all these things. So get as detailed and specific as you possibly can. Write it down, create a vision board, whatever it is, whatever it is that will help you to get clear on what your goal is. And if you're not clear, that's perhaps an indicator that you need to spend a bit more time on exploring that. And importantly, write down three reasons why this goal is so significant for you, why you think it's going to make a meaningful difference in your life and why it's going to be worth putting all that time and energy and effort into it. So as I said, no action in terms of moving forwards. I know it can feel frustrating. We want to create that forward movement, we want to get going, but I promise you that spending a bit more time on getting that clarity, taking a bit of a step back, is going to really help you to take more steps forward in the future. So best of luck with doing that exercise and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye for now.